So I'm right in the middle of Manhattan and can you guess which university I'm headed to? Well, it's Pace University. Now, the biggest USP of Pace University is the location. Just look at where I am, look at all the buildings around me. And this is a university which is really, really popular for Indian students because of its location, the easy access to New York and of course all the companies around it. So we're going to be heading to Pace and I'll give you a tour of the campus. And we'll also try to talk to students there to get a real and authentic feel of the life in Pace. What are the challenges they're facing? What are the reasons they've selected Pace University? So I really hope that if you are looking to go to Pace, then this video helps you in making that decision. And if you've already decided to go to Pace, then this video should help you in tracking your visa interview, especially in answering the question, why this university? So we are almost there, just I think a couple of minutes walk. And what you see behind me is actually the City Hall Park. So let's go. So Pace University is really known for their accounting, their finance and their management programs and this is where most of the Indian students come here. But apart from that, they do also have the science and the engineering courses. So where I'm sitting right now is actually in between the management block and the science block. So on my left is the management block and on my right is the science block. So talking to the students here, here are some of the unique points about Pace University. Now, the number one biggest advantage of Pace is, of course, its location. So given that it's right in the middle of Manhattan, right in the middle of New York City, the university places a lot of importance on industry exposure. So it's not just about guest lectures and seminars here. It goes much, much more beyond that. So I am told that every week, there is some event, some conference happening where people from top companies like Goldman Sachs, the other banks, private equity firms are here. And they're not just here to give, you know, a guest lecture, just to give a seminar, but these are detailed, in-depth discussions which happen. And they're sort of like mini projects, which means that every week that you're here, you have an opportunity to do these mini projects, which add to your credentials, which add to your resume and ultimately help in boosting up your profile, getting much better jobs and much better placements. The second unique thing about PACE is that PACE also has a lot of student clubs. So in fact, the students I spoke to said that they did not even know how intense, how rigorous these students clubs were. And these clubs are separate for undergrads, separate for masters and mainly for the master's students, these clubs are in different domains. So you have finance, you have entrepreneurship, uh, you have accounting specific clubs and they take these student clubs really, really seriously. So let's say that you're here and you're interested in pursuing a career in finance. Being a part of the student club will open up many more opportunities for you. Not only will it get, get you better industry exposure, but it'll also just get you more visibility in the companies here, be it for your CPT or even for your OPT. Speaking about the on-campus job opportunities, so one unique point which stood out in Pace University is that there are plenty of on-campus jobs. In a lot of other universities, students told us that it was difficult to get on-campus job employment because of the lack of such openings, but that does not seem to be the case here in Pace. Um, there are plenty of on-campus jobs and they are primarily into three categories. You have the first category of jobs which basically involves you working in the cafe, working at the front desk, working in the admin side of things. The second is to be a student assistant, wherein you are assisting a professor, right, with his classes, taking care of his scheduling, his emails, all of that. And the third and the highest category, or rather the most rigorous one, is being a graduate assistant, where you are helping a professor in their research work, in, in building up their courses, in preparing the class curriculum. So you, you will be paid per hour when you take up any of these positions. 
and in pace university an on campus job typically pays you about 15 dollars per hour and you are allowed to work for a maximum of 10 hours per week in fact we even came across students who have more than one on campus jobs so they are managing three or four courses per week and also managing two on campus jobs along with of course being a part of all the extra activities and all the extra curriculars here. talking about a typical day in the life of a student at pace so if you are a master's student you will normally be taking at least three courses per semester which means that you have three classes to attend per week and these are normally spread out over the week so you will be coming down to campus at least three times a week and the university is still following a hybrid model so you do have the option to attend these classes online as well a typical class is about 3 hours so either it could start at say 12 in noon till 3 pm or it could start somewhere at 9 am and go on till 12 noon some classes are also in the evening from 6 pm to 9 pm now another thing that really stood out about pace is that before attending these classes there is quite a bit of preparation which is required so i am told that a typical class would require at least 4 to 5 hours of prior prep because you have previous assignments to complete you will be given some reading material before the class it's a more of a case study approach so your class participation is required which means that you do need to have a sense of what is going to be discussed what is going to be taught so the academic schedule here seems to be pretty rigorous uh, which means that you're attending three classes you're also preparing for that and the rest of the week also students do come in at least once or twice more be it for group projects be it for their on campus jobs or for any other extracurriculars that they are a part of If you are an Indian student then PAYS has a student organization a Indian community a student community here and this is called PISA P I S A and this is a community which i am told is massive it's huge because there are plenty of indian students here and this community essentially organizes all your indian festivals your dandiya your diwali your holi they also have periodic meetups uh, there is also some type of support that you can get a uh, lot of you would be coming here away from home for the first time so being a part of the student community would also help you ease into the transition process here so talking about the cost of education so it's no secret that pace is expensive given the location right in new york city given the infra that the university has the tuition fee typically will range from what 40 lakhs to 50 lakhs inr in addition to that of course you have to take care of your living expenses and your maintenance and if you're staying off campus this could anyway fall between 900 to 1000 dollars per month so apart from say a ballpark of 50 lakhs which you would be spend, spending for your masters education you can also expect an expense of about 1000 dollars per month of course if you get any of the on campus jobs the living expenses are almost offset in fact you can even end up saving a little bit more one feedback that i got from talking to students here is that the costs the actual cost that they incurred is slightly higher than the estimate or the budget they had so uh, as per the i20 as per the initial uh, numbers the actual cost of studying in pace seems to be a little bit on the higher side so we just finished visiting pace university right behind me i mean look at the location mm -hmm.